Hello and welcome to a video just talking about how the Oxford AQA International GCSE Computer Science course works and introducing some resources I have to support with it. So this course, like many GCSEs, has two exams which are done together at the end of the course. When I say together, I don't mean on the same day. I mean they'll be separated, but you can't do one in January, one in May, for example. So one exam is a practical one, programming, and the second one is mostly theory. Paper one has got, there's more to say about it. Both papers are worth 50% and both are the same length and have the same number of marks. The paper one is completed on the computer. You'll actually type your answers or copy and paste your answers into a Word document. And it's based on a pre-release. So you get some advanced notice of what exactly many of the questions are going to be based on. And because it's programming, there are three particular language, languages you've got to know, C Sharp, Python, or Visual Basic. You won't know all three of those, you'll be learning one in class. Now for paper two, it's just a normal exam, not really much to say. There is a lot of content to learn for paper two, but it's done on paper and it's more straightforward because it's similar to every other GCSE, pretty much. Now let's talk a little bit more about paper one because that's the one which, like I say, has more complication. What will happen is, about three months before the exam, a skeleton program will get released. That's what I call the pre-release. So, Usually this is relatively short, usually some bits are quite simple, some bits are quite confusing. You need to spend some time studying it, hopefully you'll do that in class a little bit, trying to understand how the code works and maybe trying to predict some possible questions as well. Now in the exam, you'll get, along with this skeleton program, a question paper, which won't have any answer space because you actually answer your questions in an EAD, an electronic answer document. So you type your answers in there and paste in code when you need to. Paper one itself has three sections. Section A, it says non-programming on the paper, which I think is a little bit confusing. It is about programming, just not actually doing programming. Often it'll be questioning you on things inside the program, which is why you studying that skeleton program is quite important. Section B has questions where you actually do modify the skeleton program. That's why it's called a skeleton because you add to it later. These are relatively short and will just be tweaks usually. Whereas section C, you are actually modifying it more and so really you are extending the program, adding new functionality in most cases. The main thing for paper one is have you practiced it? Have you studied the pre-release? And can you program? Have you spent time practicing and learning the different concepts in your particular language? Paper two, I won't talk as much about because it just assesses everything basically. So it's not just the non-programming topics, it does assess all of it actually. It is mostly gonna be focused on the theory topics, you won't get loads and loads of questions on programming, but there will be some on programming related areas like SQL, web development, as well as you might get some questions on algorithms, which might seem more like a paper one topic, but they can get assessed in paper two as well. So here's a snippet of a web development one. You're not doing it practically on a computer. You're having to write code maybe on paper as well. In terms of how you might get ready for these exams, I've got playlists which will support, especially for paper two, which has a lot of content and things you've just got to learn. That might be a case of watching my videos, making notes, doing some questions, going back to things you get confused with and that repetition essentially, right? I'll link my playlist below. Make sure you do follow the playlist and don't just look at random videos. For paper one, it is about your effort ahead of time, learning and practicing programming, so doing as many tasks as you can. But ultimately you've got to know the knowledge in the first place for different concepts and how they work. I have got a playlist which covers the content needed for GCSE. And also I need to plug a book I wrote. There are lots of books and lots of tutorials available, but this one I think is good because I co-wrote it. So these will be linked below. Might be useful for paper one and paper two, but ultimately if you know a specification and have practiced it using past papers, that will be really, really good. One final bit of advice I'd give is this course is just the international version of the AQA GCSE course. And so past papers and videos for that might also be helpful to have a look at too. Anyway, hopefully this all goes well and I wish you the best of luck.